Hi there and welcome back to another Zip Fit Hit and another one of my lunchtime workouts. Um, I hope you're well. Um, I hope you're full of energy today because we're going to be doing a level 3 advanced workout. So there's some complex moves in this workout. Um, so if you find it's too much um, and you just started this then you can always modify the exercise if you need to. I'll try and talk you through it as much as I can but these are pretty tough. So I won't be able to speak quite as much as I can in a beginner workout, but I will do my best. Um, if there's anything you can't do and you feel like it, you could become injured, then make sure um, you either skip that exercise or modify it. But first, let's start with a uh, warm-up, which will take about five minutes. Okay, so I'm just letting you have a stopwatch. Okay, very slight bend in your knees. And you're going to do big circles to start with, so just mobilizing your shoulders. So going around in one direction. And going backwards with that same arm, big circles. And swapping arms over to the other side. So as you may have gathered, it's night time and I've got a light on out the back of the house. These are pre-recorded, uh, but they do premiere at 12 o'clock to make sure that you've got your lunchtime workout. But obviously you can do these workouts at any time. Just try and schedule them into your diaries. Okay, keep your feet flat and you're just doing little circles, rolling around the ball and socket joint. Very, very easy. Take your time going around in one direction and then going around the other way. Little circles. Don't force any movement. Okay, very slight bend in your knees. Lift your arms up. You're going to rotate round to the side, back to the centre, round the other way. Keeping your hips locked in position. So run round one way, turning your spine on its axis. Okay, let's start with some high knees. So lifting your knees a little bit up, uh, a little bit higher than normal. It's not a fast sprint at this stage. We're just trying to warm up the hip flexors, activate the calves, get the heart rate up. Keep doing that for another 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, jumping jacks for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop in there. Okay, starting to do heel flex now. Kicking your bottom. So dynamic stretch of your quads. And now just kick your feet out to the front. Little kicks out, dynamic stretch of the hamstring. Quick little movements, point your toes. Okay, grabbing hold of your foot next. Bring the knee all the way up towards your chest. See here, stretching out the muscles around your kneecap. Hip flexors, step forward. Drop down and reach and push. Grab hold of your other knee all the way up. Step forward, pause, drop down and push. Just do three of those on each side. So knee all the way up, step, thrust the hips forward, drop down, stretching out the lats, push. Knee all the way up, step forward, drop down and push. One more on each side, step, up you to your tiptoe, drop down, push. Last one, knee all the way up, step forward, drop down and push. Okay, squat, 10 squats. Sit down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Okay, back to high knees. 
just want to make sure you're really warm before this one. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, wide legs. Transfer your weight from one side over to the other. Feeling that pull through your inside legs. Sit back, try and keep your upper body upright. Okay, lower your back down, very, very slow and controlled. Take your right hand across towards your left foot, don't have to touch. So come back across. Don't overstretch, whatever you do. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and stop in there. Okay, crawling out into a monkey. So feet, shoulder width. Sit down like so. Crawl forward, keeping your hips as stable as you can. Going into windmills. So twist around, drive your hips up, back to the centre. It's a dynamic stretch of your chest. There we go, round, centre. So what we're trying to do is preload these muscles, move in lots of different directions dynamically stretch out your body replicating some of the movements we're going to be doing in the main set we'll just do one more of those on each side back to the center okay ten hill climbs one two three four five six seven eight nine ten halfway down on the push-up two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Be your left foot up by your left hand. Now, from that position, keep your back quite straight. Drive your hips down into the ground. Really stretching out these muscles here. That's it. Push down, lift up, and swap. See you in this position. Back leg straight, drive down, lift up, and swap again. Push down, lift up, and stretch. And last one. And up, and then cool back in. Okay, just do a few light little jumps. And stop in there. Okay, that is the warm up finished. Okay, so um, as I said, uh, this is a level three advanced workout, so please be careful. Um, there are a lot of complex moves in here. We're really going to get the heart rate up. Um, we're going to be working very, very hard. We're doing 40 seconds of work with a 20 second rest, working off my little beeper here. Um, round one. Um, maybe an exercise you haven't done before. It's called a burpee kickback, um, oh, sorry, kick out uh, with push up. So basically, I'm just going to run through that to start with. You're going to go down to here, out, out, in, push, bring your legs in, and then drive up. Okay, then we've got lateral jumps. By the way, don't worry if you can't do some of these, you can always modify them. Then we've got lateral jumps. So you're going to be doing lateral jumps side to side. Um, then you've got prisoner squats and hill climbers, two and then ten. And then you've, we've got push-up jacks, um, which is down in push-up position, both legs going out at the same time. So at the end of um, at the end of those four exercises, um, we're then going to do two minutes of core, uh, moving away from this thing, and then we we'll move on to a new round. Okay, so getting started, we've got uh, burpee kickouts with push-up. So getting ready to go, 40 seconds. Remember, focus on your technique. Three, two, one, and go. So down, out, out to the side, out to the side, in, push. Whip your legs in, jump. Down, out, out to the side, out to the side, push. Up, in, jump. Down, push. Up in, jump, down, 
swapping sides this time. Push, up, in, jump. One, two. So getting good rotation. Push, in, and jump. Down, up, up. Push, in, jump. Okay, we've got lateral jumps next. So we're jumping from side to side. Uh, big jump up, bring your knees up towards your chest. Okay, three, one, and so lift it up. Tough on this. Oh. Ten seconds. Oh, I stood with that one. Okay, prisoner squats and high knees. Starting with your legs together. Three, two, one. So one, two, ten high knees. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three. So keep working. Stop in there. Okay, push up jacks in 20 seconds. Oh, out of breath. So you're in this position. Do your pelvic tilt. Sway one way, mid position. Take your legs back and out here. back as stable as you can, pushing down into the ground, like trying to push the ground away from you. Oh, okay, just dropping this. Contraption, a little breather. Okay, then we're gonna do a core round now. Front plank with hip flexion for one minute and then onto normal front plank. So you're gonna be down, down in this position. We're now using the stopwatch. So you'll be here, do a pelvic sway one way, sway the other way mid position. Okay, dropping down onto your elbows, legs out behind you, okay, and then your leg comes out and in. Okay, going in five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. So engage your abs, leg out to the side, in. So working your obliques, keep your hips locked in position, Folk, really focus on that, leg out, so you're having to stabilise, working those stabilising muscles a lot more,
Okay, you've got 10 seconds, and then we're going to a normal front plank. Keep the hips locked. Okay, normal front plank now for one minute. Well, it's my shoulders that are feeling this more than anywhere else. So, really try and focus on pulling your hip bones towards each other. Keep your legs straight. Engage your abs. So hold in there. Apply pressure. Okay, you're at 25 seconds into this second minute. You've got 30 seconds to go. So two minutes of plank, just make sure your lower back doesn't collapse. Push down, 10 seconds to go. Keep squeezing those lower abs. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop there. Oh boy, did I feel that in my shoulders. Okay. Just have a very brief breather. Okay, moving on. Round number two. Burpee with lateral jumps. Uh, then we've got um, that's your first exercise. Uh, then you've got mule kicks, then we've got monkey march with jump squat, and then Spider-Man push-ups. So this first one, you're going to be doing the burpees, so down, out, in, jump across, land, burpee, jump back. Okay, so starting here. Three, two, one, and go. So hands down, legs back, legs in, jump across, land, down, out, in, jump across, land. Jump. Down, out, in, jump. Okay, mule kicks. So you're gonna be here kicking up into the So you're gonna be here kicking up into the sky. So you're dropping down, kick your legs up. Two, one, and go. So here, push up. Three. Really good for those shoulders. Really powering those legs. You really have to drive. Oh, wow, that is a tough exercise. Okay, monkey march with jump squat. I'm still working on technique on those mule kicks. Crawl out, crawl in, jump up. Okay, and off we go. Just crawl it out, crawl it in, from there, jump. Crawl out. shoulder width, jump up, it's a good full body workout, stop in there, need as much rest as I can get, okay, spider-man push-ups, if you can't do this, 
just go to a normal push up. Um, so you're in this position, you're going to get your body weight over, and then your leg abducts. So you're here, out, and then engage your abs. You can go down, up, leg out, back. Otherwise, it's up. Sorry, down, keeping your shoulders square. 15 seconds to go. Oh, that's the end. Sorry, that's not the end of round two. We've now got two minutes of core again. We're working on side plank combo, which is basically side plank. I'll show you what I mean. We're going back to the stopwatch. So you're going to be on your side, one foot on top of the other, elbow directly below your shoulder. You're going to drive your hips up. So you're in this position, and then you're going to drop down, up, raise your leg up, that position, drop down and up. Okay, one minute on each side. Whew, I don't know about you, I'm feeling pretty, pretty puffed. Okay, so getting ready to go. Open up your chest, go in three, two, one, and go. Okay, so you're here. Drop down, drive up, raise your leg up. It's pretty shoulder in intense, this, ex this workout. That's where I'm feeling it the most. Really focus on keeping those hips locked in position. Driving up with the leg. So dropping down, so it shoulders slight in the wrong position. Raise your leg up, down. Come down and up. Coming up. <sighs> Try and push on through. Raise your leg. Keep your hips locked. 15 seconds to go. <sighs> Eight seconds. <sighs> Five, four, three, two, one. Stop in there. Oh. Oh, shoulder. Okay, over to the other side. Exactly the same again. We've got another minute on the other side. So, elbow underneath your shoulder. Check. One foot on top of the other. Lifting the hips up, going in three, two, one, and go. So coming up, head back, drop down, come up. Raise your leg. Down, squeeze your abdominal muscles. Raise your leg up and down. Lift your leg, engage your abs. I just need to move my feet slightly. So you should feel a contraction here in the glutes, in the side. Raising the leg, drop down, up. You've got 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, stop in there. I hope you're with me, keep with me on this. We're moving up to round three. Okay, back to the beeper. Okay, we've got burpees to start with. Then we're going to move on to hill climbers. Then we've got line out, jumping up like a rugby line out. And then we're going to do star jumps to finish this round. Okay, so again, really getting the heart rate up. Try and work fast, but don't compromise technique. Okay, burpees. I have to admit my burpees a bit off tonight. 
I've still got this bit of a sore back from the, the lift I did at the weekend. Okay, three, two, one, burpees first and go. So hands down, legs back, legs in, jump up. Big jump. So ideally you'd get your heel flat and drive using your glutes. My back isn't allowing that tonight. So I'm just gonna go onto my tiptoes and lift. We've got hill climbers after this one. So five seconds. Okay, hill climbers. Okay, body weight over your arms. Uh, fast hill climbs, trying to get the heart rate up. Do your pelvic sway, sway mid position. Get it ready, and um, we're off. So, knee in, knee out. Working back to your arms, chest, your abdominal muscles. 40 seconds, keep pushing. Try and keep that back in a nice stable position. And the other there, keep going. Oh, oh. Okay, rugby line out. Feet, hip width, bend, jump up like you're catching a rugby ball, and then bend your knees when you land. Okay, so jump up. Really try and stretch those legs. Big lift. Bend your knees as soon as you land. So really stretch, working those calves as well, point the toes. Okay, and breathe. Okay. Star jumps for your next one. Then we're doing back to the core again for two minutes. So start here. Squat down. You're driving out into a star shape. Okay, hand. Bend your knees when you land. Drive out. So really working your inside legs to slow down this movement. Drive it from the heel. Oh, feeling that through the legs. Oh, come on, Chris, keep going. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay, stop in there. I'll grab a little bit of water. Only one round to go after these two exercises. So your first exercise, let me just talk you through technique. Hundreds. So, especially if you've got a prominent curve through your lumbar spine. You just want to do a little pelvic tilt just to keep this connection and brace your abs. Okay? Squeeze those deeper abdominal muscles. Then you're going to raise your leg up and raise your leg up. Okay? You tuck your chin in and then pulse from here. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So, micro, little micro pulses.
really careful with your lower back. If you do feel any pressure there, modify the exercise, go to here. You can go lower, but as you drop your legs, you're more likely to hyperextend through your lower back. Keep your chin tucked in, legs as straight as you can. Let's keep going. 20 seconds to go. I'm resting there. Should have got you here in the abdominal area. Okay, now we're going to work the opposing muscle group. So you're going to spin over onto your front. So you're here. You might also feel a bit of a pull through your abs. Okay, so legs together. We've done this many times before. We're trying to strengthen up the postural muscles in the back. The other rectus muscles. Okay, stop in there. Okay, lengthen your body. One minute of work, three, two, one, and go. So lift, pull, keep your head still, lengthen your body, lower yourself down with some control. You've got 35 seconds, really try to make sure you're pulling with your back. Eight seconds. Two, one, and stop. Okay, a little just curling up in a ball, just stretching out your uh, back a minute. It's really tough when you've got really tight back, back muscles um, because they don't want to move. So things like burpees, when you're trying to drive your legs back, which require a certain amount of flexibility, as do all exercises, and um, it's quite tough, so just be careful. Okay, so um, easy now for that. We're on our final round. So there's no core exercise at the end of this one. We've got four exercises. Burpee with high knees. You do one burpee, 10 high knees, repeat. Then we're just doing normal push-ups. I'm gonna throw in some plyometric push-ups there as well. Then we've got um, ladder climbs, um, which is this one. And then moving on to a jump lunge to finish. Okay, so last bit of work. You can do this. Okay, so we're starting off. Burpee with high knees. Feet shoulder width, eyes looking forward. Brace your abs. Okay, three, two, one, and go. So hands down, legs back, legs in. Oh, sorry, lift up, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Forgot what I was doing there. Down, out, in, and lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down, out, in. One, two, three, four. push-ups okay you can do normal push-ups fast or you can do plyometric push-ups which are incredibly tough we'll have a go at those to start with okay and go so clapping your hands out the top I doubt I'll make it all the way through let's see how we get on Whoa, engage your abs. Let's go, push, push. 
push. Oh, go. 10 seconds. Let's finish on some power. Last push ups. Uh, uh, whoa. Uh, you've got to have a strong technique for that one. Oh, completely exhausting. Okay, we've got ladder climbs. My heart is racing right now. Okay, ladder climbs. And um, up we go. So up and down. So, like those arcade games. Little man climbing up the ladder. Sorry, can't talk now. Ten seconds. I need to catch my breath. Okay, jump lunge to finish, or step lunges. Stepping forward, pelvis square. Two. Okay, let's go. 40 seconds. Let's finish this one. Real leg burner to finish. Keep going. You can do this. I can do this. I'm talking to myself here as much as I am you. Halfway. Nearly there, keep going. And stop. Oh. Okay, that's a bit of a fruity workout. Excellent work. I hope you enjoyed that. Remember, there are beginner classes on there now. Beginner classes on there now. Um, so I'm kind of trying to cater for people's different abilities. So um, I'll be introducing an intermediate class next week. So I'll be doing the beginner, intermediate, and advanced. So if you do go on there and find that just something's either too easy or too hard for you, um, you can always go and choose one of the workouts. There's probably about 18 workouts on the ZipFit TV now. Um, so you've got plenty of options, but I just wanted to break it down so this attracts more people, gets more people out of their office, um, out of their office slump and then up and moving. Remember, it's really important to keep your body moving. Um, I really didn't feel motivated for that this evening. Um, I had to dig deep to get myself out here to do this. Um, so yeah, don't always think that I just run downstairs and get on with these things. Um, we all have good days and bad days. Um, on those bad days, as long as you're not feeling unwell or you're injured, try and do it. That's when it's going to really. That's when you. That's when you're going to get all your motivation from. The end of the workout, when you've had that shower, and you're sitting down, and you're having a nice drink or some food, and you're just thinking, yeah, I did that. So, um, and you can be pleased with yourself, um, because it, it does. It takes determination um, to get out here and doing that. Uh, to get out here doing these workouts. Um, so I really appreciate. Um, all your support, um, all your encouragement, thank you for your messages on social media, um, it's really encouraging, um, standing here in front of a camera is not always that easy, um, especially when you've got nobody giving you feedback, so please give feedback, if there's things you like, let me know, if there's things you don't, let me know, um, but I hope you're enjoying them, and I hope you stay with me, um, this is keeping me fit as well as you, so we're all getting fit together, um, take care, have a great weekend, um, enjoy your, um, it's a bank holiday isn't it on the on Friday, so enjoy that um, and uh, you take care of yourselves, stay safe, stay positive and take care, all the best. Okay.